Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Politics on Channels Television. I'm Millicent Walker. On the news this hour, the challenge on the Buhari and APC mandate at the polls in 2019 gets attention at the elections tribunal as the PDP's case is adjourned till tomorrow for hearing. The Gwajabir Miller camp says they have ceded about 60 positions to the People's Democratic Party and opposition figures ahead of tomorrow's inauguration and election in the 9th National Assembly. The All Progressives Congress caucus has endorsed Honorable Wase and Senator Omar Gege as Deputy Speaker and Deputy Senate President, while opponents in the party disagree. with the 2019 presidential election tribunal which resumed sitting with Justice Mohammed Garba now presiding as chairman after Justice Bokachoa recused herself from the tribunal. For the first time since the commencement of the tribunal, the security barricade that was a usual spot on the roads leading to the appeal court premises seemed to have vanished. Now it's not clear why the barricade is no longer there, but a combination of security operatives from the Nigeria police and the civil defense restricted their checks to the entrance of the appeal court premises as the sitting continues. The People's Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, al Haji Atiko Bubaka, had on May the 31st, 2019, written to the president of the appeal court, Justice Zainab Bukachua, who had earlier recused herself from the panel of the tribunal, asking for the tribunal to be reconvened. Let's start to base with our correspondent, Amaka Okafo, who is monitoring the proceedings for us, and she has an update. Amaka, good to see you. What can you tell us about the proceedings today? Justice Mohammed Gerba, the presiding judge of the Lagos Division of the Appeal Court, is now the chairman of the Presidential Election Tribunal panel. His um, appointment is coming two weeks after Justice Zaina Bulkachua, the president of the court, recused herself on personal grounds from the panel of the tribunal, even though the People's Democratic Party had filed an application asking her to recuse herself on the grounds of her relationship with her husband, who is the senator-elect from Bochi State. Now, as his first assignment, Justice Garba did a call over of all the petitions before the tribunal, and they are the petition of the Hope Democratic Party, that of the People's Democratic Party, that of the People's Democratic Movement, and the Coalition for Change. Now, it would interest you to know that the Coalition for Change decided to withdraw its petition against President Muhammad Buhari. The reasons were not given in court, but their request was obliged by Justice Garba, who is the chairman of the presidential election tribunal, and the uh, petition was subsequently dismissed by the tribunal. Now, the People's Democratic Party um, petition has been um, adjourned to tomorrow for hearing in all the applications that have emanated from the petition. I'd like to thank you for that update at this time. While well, staying with the judiciary, President Mohamed Bouari, he has accepted the voluntary retirement from service of Justice Walter Onoge as Chief Justice of Nigeria, effective from May the 28, 2019. According to a statement by the President's spokesman, Mr. Garba Shehu, President Bari has also submitted a request to the Acting Chief Justice, Justice Tanka Mohammed, for the initiation of the process of appointing five justices of the Supreme Court to make the full complement of 21 justices as approved or provided by the Constitution. The President says his request is in line with the federal government's plan of repositioning the judiciary with special focus on the apex court with a view to reducing the backlog of pending cases. Meanwhile, the President has thanked Honorable Justice Onoge for his service to the nation, wishing him the very best of retirement life. Tomorrow, the 9th National Assembly will be inaugurated and there will be the election of principal officers to the two chambers of parliament. Now, the Gwajabia Miller campaign organization says its candidate has the number to emerge Speaker of the House of Representatives. Now, the camp explains that 
183 newly elected members of the House of Representatives have endorsed Mr. Femi Kwasabia Miller as Speaker and Al Haji Idris Wase as his deputy. Supporters of the camp have appended their signature as an affirmation of their votes ahead of the inauguration of the 9th National Assembly on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Honorable Femi Kwasabia Miller is promising to introduce e voting, which he says will be more transparent in the House of Representatives if he is elected. We are absolutely, absolutely convinced that the Ninth Assembly is going to be an assembly like no other assembly. We want an assembly where every, forget the speaker, forget the deputy speaker, but that every legislator will be able to stand shoulder to shoulder with any parliamentarian anywhere in the world. And we will work aggressively towards that. An assembly where even the opposition will be proud that they are in opposition. Where the opposition will understand and learn the art of opposition. And not opposition for the sake of opposition. I stand here today as perhaps the only person in Nigeria's history, uniquely qualified in the sense that I have occupied the role of the opposition leader and now occupy the role of the leader of the whole house and the ruling party. As speaker, that puts me in a vantage position to understand the feelings of the opposition because I was there before and to understand the dictates of what is needed for the ruling party. It is going to be a house of reforms, several reforms. The beneficiaries of that, those reforms will be us and will be Nigerians. It will be for the greater good of our country. Well, the race in the House of Representatives has become more intense as uh, Mr. Femi Guadabiamela is getting a good run for his money from the likes of Honorable Bago and Honorable Onyeji Ocha. But the camp believes they have the needed numbers. Uh, the Director General of the Guadabiamela Wase campaign organization, Honorable Abdul Mamin Jibrin, says they have seated about 60 committee positions in the National Assembly to the opposition to enable Mr. Guadabiamela to secure the needed leverage or the speakership seat. Now, he was a guest in our political program, Sunday Politics. About 60 signatures of PDP members and other opposition members that have signed to support us. And just before I come to this uh, studio, the Southeast Caucus, uh, which is essentially a PDP-dominated uh, uh, caucus, led by Pat Asadu, just adopted Femi Vajabia Mila. It is recorded, pictures were snapped. I moved from that event to uh, this particular place. So we've spent time to perfect our strategy. We're very comfortable at this point, and uh, we're not worried about anybody contesting uh, the election. The most important thing is that we're very prepared, and we're very confident that uh, Femi is going to win. Uh, Femi is going to win the speakership, and of course, was the deputy speakership. Been talking to uh, uh, a a part of uh, the uh, opposition parties that's uh, PDP inclusive and we've reached a deal and it's a matter of fact everybody knows that and as I am talking to you we have over 60 members in our in our kitty of which uh, we've uh, offered them uh, a particular uh, responsibility when it comes uh, to the ninth uh, assembly but part of that uh, the negotiation is also uh, some committees of which we've seeded uh, a combination of uh, the chairmanship and deputy chairmanship about uh, 60 of uh, these uh, uh, positions uh, to them, which is very uh, sufficient. And I do not see anything that uh, you can uh, offer them. In any case, we do not need the entire opposition numbers to be able to win our elections. And the way we are guiding our votes within the, PD, uh, within the APC this time around, uh, it will be difficult for you to be able to push members away from uh, the APC. But again, these are extra measures. Apart from that, it is genuinely done by uh, speaker, the, uh, the incoming speaker and his deputy to ensure that we run an all-inclusive uh, uh, house.
Well, that's the DG of the campaign organization. But the party is not left out. The ruling All Progressives Congress, they're pushing their best foot forward ahead of the election and also throwing uh, their weight behind them. Apart from openly backing Senator Ahmed Lawan and Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller as choice candidates for the Senate and House of Representatives leadership, the party's National Working Committee has also adopted Senator Ovio Mwagege for the positions of Deputy Senate President and Honorable Mohamed Wase as Deputy Speaker. The decision is part of the agreements reached at the end of the emergency meeting which held, uh, held by the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress over the weekend. The party is asking its members and the two chambers of the Assembly to support the four candidates. The Progressives Governors Forum, made up of governors elected under the platform of the All Progressives Congress, have also endorsed Senator Ahmed Lawan for President of Senate. The Chairman of the Forum and Governor of Kebi State, Mr. Atiku Bagrudu, says the Forum also endorsed the choice of Honorable Femi Bajabiamila as the next Speaker of the House of Representatives, explaining that the decision of the governors is aimed at ensuring the party's decision is not jettisoned by parliamentarians elected under the platform of a party. He was speaking at a news conference in Abuja. And with barely 24 hours to the inauguration of the 9th National Assembly and its leadership, a northern-based group known as Arewa Youth Awareness Forum, they have rejected the choice of Honorable Femi Bajabiamela as Speaker of the House of Representatives. Now, addressing a news conference in Kaduna on Sunday, leader of the group, Mr. Abadaya Gigi, express concern that the Buhari's presidency is likely to witness integrity challenges and will soon be on the wrong side of history with the choice of Honorable Wajabia Miller as Speaker of the House of Representatives. He maintains that Nigeria cannot afford an undue error or misplaced experiment with any of the three arms of government, particularly the legislature and its leadership. According to him, they're calling on the president all the northern governors, leaders of the ruling All Progressives Congress, to receive their endorsement of Bajawasi ticket as Speaker and Deputy Speaker, respectively. While we are not sponsoring or siding with any of the speakership aspirant, we are deeply concerned that Nigerian uh, ruling party, the president, and the presidency, and even the opposition may all be about to stand on the wrong side of history with their support for the candidate chair of Honorable Femi Bajamila as Speaker. We passionately urge Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, all Northern Governors, all members of the APC, and all members of the House of Representatives to dispassionately look through and address concern that Baja we say ticket may ultimately turn out as being not in the interest of the Buhari presidency, APC, the North, and Nigeria in entirety. We recommend strongly that Mr. President should encourage the APC caucus to find and support a good speakership material that will complement, will complement rather than be a detriment to his administration quest for trust and integrity. So let's take you back to some of the comments of the progressive governors, and this is the chairman of the forum, uh, Governor of Kebi State, Mr. Atiku Bagudu, and what he had to say about the endorsement of the choice of Honorable Femi Bajabiamila as the next speaker of the House of Representatives. We equally use the opportunity to deliberate on our support for the leadership of the National Assembly. The governors of the All Progressive Congress have always been unanimous in supporting the party leader, Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, and our party in ensuring that we achieve uh, a common purpose. So towards that extent, we uh, all unanimous in our support for um, Senator Ahmed Lawan for the Senate Presidency and the Honorable Pemi Bajamila for the Deputy, uh, sorry, for the Speaker of the House of Representatives. 
and uh, all governors are in agreement and will continue will con will work towards that purpose Let's take a break now, but let's ask you as well, what are your permutations for the National Assembly leadership? Tweet at us at CTV Politics at Channel CV, hashtag LTP. When we also return, a group is saying no to the over 4 billion naira welcome package for new lawmakers. Details to come.